Hey guys, what's up? Quick video. I'm just going to... Th I thought I would like just practice my Dima Dum um, theory. And I thought, well, why not make a video about it, right? And this is, this is like how you use the studies. And this is how you use the interactive lesson feature on Lee Chess, which I absolutely love. And I think it knocks anything that chess.com or uh, Chessable or anything else can do into a cocked hat. This is the gold standard as far as I'm concerned. So what I have here, I have my my Leeches study for Dima Dum, and um, I've got the seven chapters. And th the key thing is here, I've logged in in a, an a, anonymous window, so it's an in incognito window in Chrome or Brave as I use. Um, and the reason is because I don't want to be signed in to Leeches, but I want to stay signed in to Leeches in my normal browser. So off we go. And I'll show you how it works. So you, you come along as a regular pedestrian for a public challenge. You have to play the first moves. You know it's the French defense. Okay, and this is the signature Dima Dum move. Right, now, third most common move, but it's the best. And we take, and here's the key thing. You've got to remember, we want a pawn on d5. The pawn on d5 prevents the knight from coming out here. So when their bishop comes out here, we can give check and fork the bishop. Right, simple as. Another key point, when their knight comes out, we play the opposite knight out. No worries. And there we go. Okay. Ha ha. And off we go. Okay, good. And if you get it wrong, you do play again. Okay, let's do it again. Starting moves. And I think this, this kind of repetition of the moves is really good. But what really gets on my tit ends with chessable is um, it's just really slow. There's just too many clicks, man. Too many clicks. And it says, you know, carry on. Well, I want to. What I want to do is, I want to. I want. It's almost like I want to do the muscle memory thing, and that's what this does on Lee Chess. So I'm, I'm the biggest fan of this, anyway. So they brought their knight out. Yeah, brought their knight out early. What do we do when their knight comes out? We mirror. Okay, takey. Remember, we want a pawn on d5. Takey. Bishop comes out. Oops. Ha <laughs> ha. Happy days. Yeah. Let's do it again. And this this repetition. But you see how quick it is. Yeah. Made a pot of coffee today. I'm uh, experimenting. The number one thing that you can do f to improve your, your health really is to um, become a, a scientist using the N equals one principle. N in science very often stands for um, the sample size of a study, right? So n equals one means I'm testing, but I'm testing on myself. So I've I've done eight weeks without any coffee at all, not a single cup. And then the other day, Sunday, I made a week. Sorry about the chickens are all outside because it's pissing down with rain. It's absolutely miserable day. So they're all in the, under my porch, right? So anyway, yeah. <clears throat> so I had a week pot of coffee on, um, there we go. Ha -ha. Right, on Sunday, and it had no effect whatsoever. I didn't feel particularly perky, and I didn't really notice a the corresponding energy slump in the afternoon either. Having said that, I did go and run around on a rugby field for a couple of hours. So today, I'm experimenting with a normal strength pot of coffee, and I'm gonna see what happens, right? Don't trust the experts. Never trust the experts on anything, yeah? Listen to them, absolutely fine. Okay, now, we have an X here, and that tells me, just a little mnemonic, that we bring out our bishop to here. Okay. Um, I think we take, and they take, and do we now destroy the knight? I think that's the move. There we go. And is it knight e2? No. Knight c6, yeah. Sorry, c3. There we go. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear me. Dear, oh, dearie me. Okay. And you can sit here, you can sit here talking absolute gobbledygook into a camera and still just practice your stuff, right? Take. Da, da, da. Always take back. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this move. This is not a bad move. Um, can't remember what to do. That's natural. Okay, remember, we still got the pawn here, so the bishop can't come out. Can't, can't come out to this square, yeah? Okay, knight comes out. And now I think it's that. Okay, and oops. Can I? There you go. And now we're getting into the declined line. So let's decline. 
Okay, uh, I think we take everything on d5 here. Takey, 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 takey. Queen, he come out. N we hit the queen. I, li I like this one. Hit the queen. Now we hit the king? Or do we... Is it this one first? Yeah, this one first. Now it's the king, right? And now it's the queen. And suddenly, bang, 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 we've just developed three pieces off the back rank in three moves, all with tempo. And white win 72%. Happy days. Okay, decline c6. I think this may be the most solid one, is it? I haven't practiced this one, so I don't know. All right, so maybe we get this wrong. Is it takes? Nope. Is it knight out? Okay. Um, and I, then I think it's this. Yeah, Gertz Peter's style. Yeah, thank you to whoever corrected my misspelling of Dina Dum. It's D-U-H-M, isn't it? Not D-U-M-H. So, who's the dummy now? Um, that. And now, look, we're getting ready to castle. Kingside, get Rook on semi-open file. Happy days, there we go. And, you know, if, if you're ever not sure, you just hit play again and you go, ah, doofus. And you, you just drill it, just drill it until it becomes second nature. Uh, this, this we, see, I've forgotten already. Take? No. Hunty. Hunty, do it right. Do it properly, yeah. Eh, uh, not here, no. Not here, yes. There, okay, we go, yeah. So you just need to kind of remember the structure that we're going for, yeah? So I did that wrong, so let's do it again, right? There, there, there. C6, C6, so when you're facing a pyramid, we're going for this style. Hmm, you know, and that's it, All right? That's how you drill. That's, that's, that is how I believe the best players must practice their openings in many ways. Um, I don't know because I'm not one of the best players. But anyway, I uh, just thought I'd share, you know, if, if you haven't done this, guys, you need to. You need to be doing this. Um, if you're above a thousand at least, right? The thing is, it's not going to hurt your chess to practice some theory below 1,000. But quite honestly, the... Um, I know I look like Mr. Robot today, innit? Um... Opening principles are going to be far more important than, than theory. But, you know, if you want to do this, knock yourself out. Can't hurt. All right, that's it for, for this video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.